let's just say it's a really interesting time for simulation games with Paralyzed, Sims 5, and Life by You being developed. But this technology being introduced by Life by You, and who knows, maybe for Sims 5 as well, may just change how we play games forever. So first we're going to start with this new clip from Life by You, and then I'm going to explain the technology behind it and also how it could influence simulation games no matter what we're playing. The new clip is a two minute explanation and it shows us how conversations work. Now conversations was a gameplay feature I was really worried about for Life by You and I still definitely have some concerns, however you do see how intuitive this is. The new clip shows us that we can not only edit dialogue text but also when we edit it the other character will react based upon what we say. This is true whether you use a prompt that's already generated for you or you click your own. In essence, the AI is doing the work to respond to however you respond, meaning that conversations aren't going to merely be repeated, but they're actually going to be responded to. So you are not required to edit the text, but if you do, the other character is going to be able to understand what you're saying and respond to it. Now this actually technology goes even further and we're going to get into this in a moment and I'm going to explain why this could be the future for simulation games. So we talked about this very briefly in my previous video about Life by You, and that is generative AI. Now in this case, generative AI, we are kind of looking at how it adapts for conversations, but this could also apply to making and customizing your worlds. This includes changing dialect for worlds to represent whatever world you pretty much want. It also goes into names. The generative AI is when they have a list of last names. They're more than 5,000 names long from all around the world. You may see that it's not names in your town, however. So you can go into the AI system and say, give me the last 100 names from this village and it just will import it. This then ties into the overall advanced AI for the entire game. Every person in the world is being simulated when you're not looking. That's the key difference. When you see someone go to work and into the building, they really go to work. And then you go into the world and see anybody, you can right click and play them. You get access to their memories, loves and dislikes, and their social relationships. According to Humble, they see that Life by You is a platform that is able to support content however you make it. That's including AI-assisted technologies, but it is up to you whether or not you use these, which I think is really important to emphasize. In his opinion, they are on the cusp of a productivity build and an economic build that is going to follow. They want to position their game, for example, like ChatGPT, to generate code. We can make sure that all of our pipelines are ready to accept all of this new content. We don't necessarily necessarily want things to be integrating our experience though because it is a single player private game. However, even though it is single player and private, they are still using generative AI and advanced technologies so that way when you make decisions in your game from changing the dialogue to changing your world, the game in turn responds to that. Now generative AI has a lot of really exciting potential but there's also some downsides like there is with everything. Generative AI has the immense potential for the future of gaming. It can enable faster content creation, unique content, scalability, and personalization. However, it comes with some real disadvantages such as quality control issues, lack of control over content, and other technical requirements. In more detail, a generative AI can make games that are more challenging and engaging for players. It can create unique content like we just saw each time the player opens the game, which makes the experience feel challenging, fresh, exciting. By providing content that's not repetitive, or predictable, which I think could be really great, generative AI can provide new opportunities for unique content that enhances the game experience. Also more personalization. So in other words, it's way less likely you're going to open up the game and know what to expect, which is something some people might not like, but really appeals to me personally. And of course, they also mentioned specific things such as text to speech. And one thing I didn't consider when I was looking at these conversations is this is a new way to do simulation games because could also be helpful for people with different disabilities. So hopefully they do keep people with disabilities in mind and accessibility when they make this game. However, I have to be real with you because there are risks of using generative AI, whether it's for Life by You or if Sims 5 jumps on the trend, which I could see Sims 5 doing something not exactly like this, but maybe elements of it. Questions arise about the lack of control of content AI generates, which could of course result in unexpected or even unwanted content. The quality of the content content out of generative AI may vary, requiring game developers to have rigorous quality control processes. And for this reason, I don't really want to see Sims 5 do this 
personally. And of course, without sufficient supervision, this could negatively impact the player experience due to potential issues within gameplay mechanisms. There was actually a recent research study to see how these kind of technologies could actually be used with a game like The Sims. So in their work, they demonstrated generative agents by populating a sandbox environment reminiscent of The Sims with 25 agents. Users could observe and intervene as agents planned their days, shared news, form relationships, and coordinate group activities. And within this, agents are able to perceive their environment and all perceptions are saved in a comprehensive record of the agent's experience called the memory stream. And it's really interesting that a simmer alerted me to this very recently because this really does tie into what I think they're doing with Life by You and could be the future of further simulation games if it's successful. However, again, it's really important to note that there are risks to this exciting technology. Behavior did become unpredictable over time as memory size increased to the point that finding the most relevant data became problematic. So this is where I am a little bit concerned because what happens is it almost sounds like the more bloated the save file, the more problematic this could become. So on one hand, it sounds really exciting in terms of unpredictability. And as we saw in the demo, it is responding directly to what you're typing in or even what you're selecting. On the other hand, and like I said, there are some quality assurance and technological concerns. So I feel like this could be really exciting for Life by You. And if another game decides to adopt this as well, it's definitely innovative. And I think when we're doing something innovative, it always comes with excitement, but also challenges and risks. One thing I will say is I do like that you can kind of just pick how you respond and not have to type in every single time. Because while it is cool that you can type in your own responses, obviously that could become tedious. And I think the bigger concern I have with conversations is the amount of time they will take. So I'd be curious if you're ever allowed to skip through conversations or automate them, which I think would be a really good option personally. All in all, I think that this is very exciting, but it's also a little scary to me because I don't really know how it's going to turn out. Tell me what do you think about all this in the comments below. I know I kind of loaded you with a ton of information, but as always, sources are linked in my description if you want to check out and read this for yourselves. I do hope this was helpful for understanding what kind of innovative technology and approaches they're using for Life by You. And like I said, who knows, Sims 5 could use something similar. Let me know what you think. And as always, if you did like this video, please give it a share and a like. It helps me out so much. Take care and I will see you in the next one.